In this video, I'll show you how to connect your domain to build the all website and how to create unlimited subdomains. All right, so I'll use this simple site as an example. First, you have to save it. Click, that's fine. And close it. All right, so now we're gonna go back. Then you click on publish. Select all images with bicycles. This, that, and that. All right, so let's see. I don't know why the, uh, the capture thing was there because normally you don't get that. All right, so now we have to connect the domain. So to do so, you scroll down, click on domain. So domain name, then you click on save and save again. All right, so domain is connected successfully. So what you have to do next is to go to your domain host. Mine is with Namecheap. If you have GoDaddy, you can go to GoDaddy. The process is still the same. And I'll go to domain list. All right, so this is it. So what I'll do next, click on manage. The Namecheap basic DNS, you change it to custom DNS. Then we have to copy and paste the name service from Builder All. All right, so click on menu. You click on help, click on support, then click on domain and hosting, click on build our name service. These are the servers. All right. So these are the instructions. The local region option is recommended. So if you want to connect a local, which is non-global, let's say you want to connect just for North America or Australia or Asia or Africa or something which is your local, you use this one. But if you want to connect worldwide, you use this one. So this is what we want because I don't want local, I want worldwide. So I just highlight this, copy, control C, drop it here, paste, then go back again, then copy this, C. Then, all right so these are the codes that you need click on the check mark to save it all right so it said it's gonna take 48 hours okay but most of the time in about half an hour it should be working leave all right so right now even if you check it's not gonna work let me go incognito let's check that so if I type, you'll see what's going to happen. It's not going to work. All right. So as you can see, this site can be reached. Okay. Because it's not yet connected. So we have to close it. And so I'll come back after half an hour to an hour to check. All right. It's about an hour now. So let's check if it's working. All right, so it's working now. I need to adjust this test a little bit because it's just going into the image. I like the popping image. All right, so let's check the disclaimer. All right, so as you can see, everything is working. When you see the underline, that's how you know everything is working. So let's go back, close this. All right, so I'll use this site as an example. Okay, so I'll connect this site to one of my domains okay so to do so you always have to make sure you've optimized your mobile version and your tablet version all right so when everything is done click on save and do you want to publish this site that's fine and then close it all right, so at the moment, this site is connected to build the all subdomain. I don't want that. Now that we're done with this, I'm going to close this. Okay. 
alright so I will close this as well this is my back office so you click on enter alright so when you scroll down this is the site that I created but it's on publish alright so now we're gonna publish and connect the domain click on the app sign and I'll click connect domain and I'll type in the domain name alright so the name of the site that I just created is called sub you can create whatever I name it sub just to indicate subdomain because that's the tutorial I'm doing now so sub dot then the domain name that you want to connect to okay and as you can see I did not add HTTP or www you don't need to do that just like this then you click on save then connect domain confirm then you confirm the domain all right so success okay which took like uh, three seconds Screw down. all right so as you can see sub dot but you can see everything then you click on this the app sign again then as you can see when you see disconnect domain that means it's connected I don't want to disconnect refresh the page it is gonna move up as you can see now it's moved up okay so now let's click on this and now go to the website boom all right so this is how you connect a subdomain this process is different from piezo perfect builder okay so don't be confused and don't get it twisted between the two okay so the process that i use please use the same process if not it will not work okay i struggle a bit just to figure it out and i i reach out to customer service and the tips that they were giving me wasn't working and this is how i figured it out okay and also they will give you like a tutorial that is old tutorial and it doesn't even work so this is how you do it all right so this is the subdomain name you're gonna use to promote this site your domain will be different and as you can see this site is secure because it comes with the padlock okay and that's one thing i like about build the art all right so please give me a thumbs up comment and subscribe to this channel you can also check out other videos on the channel all right thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check out other videos on the channel until next time take care bye bye